All right, now I wanna talk about strumming and using our pick, all right? When we hold our pick, we're gonna hold it between our thumb and first finger, and you'll just have to move it around until you feel comfortable here. People will uh, hold it like this, or they'll really hook their index finger and hold it. It's just gonna depend on what you get used to and what you like, but you have your thumb straight across it, and then you just grab it however you wanna grab it there. And when you're playing a string, we don't wanna be perpendicular with our pick to the string. It's uh, very harsh that way. So we always wanna have an angle, okay? So if we're picking away from our body, strumming away from our body, the top of the pick will tilt out a little bit to strum away, out or down strums. Okay, if we're strumming back towards our body, the top will face back towards our body a little bit as we come with the in or up strokes, okay? And I'll do that on the dulcimer here for you. For you. But you basically twist just a touch. I'm over-exaggerating here, but you're gonna, for the out, you're gonna take from a perpendicular position and just tilt it out a little bit and strum. And then when you're gonna go back, you do the same thing, except bring it back towards you a little bit. And then if you're gonna go out and in, it's just a little slight turn, okay? Now, you can use that strum hollow if you want to. There's nothing against that. You'll notice, though, that when you strum up here on the over the frets, the farther you get back, listen to what happens. We get a different sound there. Now you'll use this to your advantage later on, but right now I want you to stay around the bottom, the end part of your fretboard. Round about the 14th fret, give or take, okay? That's usually your sweet spot where it sounds the best, where it sounds the warmest, okay? All right, I'll see you in the next video.